Hello and welcome to D20 Woodworking. And today we are doing a playthrough video with Phoenix. Now, this is one of my very first playthroughs. It's not the very first one, not, not like the absolute first one, because that was with the pre-con deck over on Twitch. And it wasn't very good. I, I really didn't, I really didn't like it. <laughs> um, so we tweaked the deck a little bit and we decided to do a playthrough against Claw. And uh, yeah, it was a lot of fun. Uh, Phoenix, if you've been paying attention or not paying attention, but paying, uh, watching all my previous videos, you'll know that Phoenix is the X-Men I'm most excited for. So I had uh, high expectations for her. So this was a lot of fun to play through. And uh, yeah, I hope you really enjoy it. All right. So we're going to keep everything else up there that's already up there. Um, just, you know, I imagine that this is the first time I'm doing this and I totally haven't screwed this up prior to this. So that, that would be cool. All right, so let's do six. One, two, three, four, five, six. All right, Cyclops, Ironheart, Eros, Double, Marvel Girl, and Skilled Investigator. All right, so I like the idea of Skilled Investigator. I like the idea of a double with an Ironheart. And everyone else can go away. Everyone else can go away. So that's three cards. One, two, three. Hmm interesting all right so we have all of our stuff let us flip up the phoenix side let's use a double to play phoenix uh draw a card okay that's fine so let's play skilled investigator we're gonna thwart three from defense network Two, three. Get rid of it. Uh, after size, Phoenix defeat, exhaust skill investigator, draw a card. So we're going to do that. Uh, Phoenix Firebird. Okay. We'll do one way or the other. Search for a scheme. Side scheme. Shoot. Uh, that's right. We'll do a mortal call for now because we'll get rid of that next turn. That's fine. That's not a big deal. And this adds a uh, 10 on. So totally forgot. <laughs> it's all good, man. <laughs> all right. So there's that. And then we draw three cards. So one mission training, two is telekinetic attack, three is beat down. All right, cool. So we could do a double with a mission train to do telekinetic attack to deal seven damage to an enemy. We're going to do it to radioactive man because I don't want to deal with that. That's for sure. So he's out of here. Um, we have another seven damage card. But we're not going to do it. We it will be somewhat responsible. So we're going to throw away B cop to play Phoenix Firebird to put these two power counters on. And then we will use said one power, power counter and telekinetic attack to do telepathic trickery. Move four threat. I'll take off the Immortal Claw. This goes back down to 12. Oh, okay. That like feels like a legit turn. An Iron Heart will do one damage. <sighs> Crushing it. Love it. All right. And let's ready up. One, two, three, four, five. How about Phoenix Firebird to ready Phoenix, then throw it for three? Yeah. Yeah. I could have done that. I could have done that. Probably would have been a better move. That's right. Uh, psychic manipulation, psychic blast. Okay, a double yellow storm and a double, a regular double. Okay, interesting. Play Phoenix hand the red. <laughs> it's true. All right, so uh, Ironheart's gonna block this to the face with a claw. Uh, one, two, put weapons runner in play, engage with you. So two damage to Ironheart, which stinks. I was kind of hoping it'd be a bit more, but that's fine. Weapons runner does one damage to me, and that is fine. That was put into play, right? Um, not revealed, so the surge does not happen. And then a bad card. Um, spend one of each resource. Okay, we don't have the ability. We have literally all energy and a wild. Uh, so we'll exhaust, unfortunately, which kind of stinks. That's all right. We've been able to keep telling. Yeah, that's true. That's true. So let's do. Do 
you have four damage. I don't know if I'm really worried about four damage right now. So I'm going to do a double three, four to play Storm. Again, Storm is one cheaper. Um, Storm is just going to attack Weapons Runner. Because, like, I guess why not? To knock him out. We have this. This is fun. I think I'm actually going to keep this and flip down. I think I want him to threat. Because I'm Earth War, because I'm gonna do I'm gonna do this combination. So then we get one. I want to try it. That's really what it comes down to. Two, three, four. So we have six total. So one. Now he's going to scheme. Interrupt. When the villain schemes. Do you? That's all right, man. Um, quick question. Since this is interrupting his uh scheming, does it happen before I flip cards or after I flip cards? What's the best way of that? Like, I'm not 100% sure how that would work. I guess you would see what you have, right? When the when the villain schemes. Interrupt happens before it. And it's not a response, I think. But I'm not 100% sure. But we're going to pay for it regardless with double yellow. And it interrupts activation, I would say before. I'd say before. Yeah, that makes sense to me as an interrupt. And not like a response, right? That would make the most sense. Like if it was a response, it would be like, after it, I would think. All right, but anyway, I'm, I'm going to do it regardless. But it's uh, two, um, and then one of these, so three. So he is now removing two, three, which is only two, right? But that's fine. Can you use a Phoenix counter on Alter Ego side? Oh, you're right. I can't. I can't. I can't. But I can throw away a card. So I'll throw away one of the space fans. You can't, but that's a good call. It's a very good call. Thank you. All right, um, attach the call, call gains retaliate. So use one of each to get rid of. Okay. Okay, that doesn't help my plan, but that's fine. It's fine. It's fine. This is all fine. Um, well, I guess what I could do is I could do one. Oh, uh, no, but I don't want to get rid of under surveillance like that. All right, let's flip up. Manipulation is way better in multiplayer. Oh, yeah, that makes sense. That makes a lot of sense. All right, so I'm going to throw away mental paralysis and under and to play under surveillance while using a counter. Sorry. Uh, to put that on there. I don't want to just retaliate myself. I don't want to retaliate with her. So we're not going to do anything. Ugh. It's like such a terrible turn. Two, three, four, five. Okay. Just a different animal of solo forge. Yeah. No, I, I I agree with that 100%. You're, I think you're absolutely right. Which, fun fact, if you all don't know, I'll be over on Nelson's stream tomorrow playing a four-player game. I don't know who I'm going to be yet or what aspect. So it should be good. So come support me. <laughs> All right, so he's going to be attacking with two cards. I'm going to take this to the face. I'm going to see how this goes. Uh, one, give the villain a tough status. That's fine. That, that's actually fine. And we take one damage. Back card. Uh, the villain, each minion uh, attacks you. So that's cool. I'm just going to take this again. So it's uh, one, two. Exhaust your hero because it does damage me. Which is not what, quite what I wanted, but that's okay. All right, so we have. <sighs> yeah, I don't want to use these cards like this. Shoot, there's a lot of cards in this hand I want. All right, what we're going to do. I like the shield. White Hot Room, I feel like I've been holding on for too long. Um, I want to play Endurance, for sure. I want the I want the extra life. Let's get rid of White Hot Room and Counterintelligence to play the shield, right? To take some damage. Wiccan will hold on to for a little bit. Um, and Storm will hold on to for a little bit. And then we'll ready up. So one, two, three, four, five. And then we're ready. Okay. 
This goes up by one. He's going to attack. I'm going to take this because I have the shield now. So zero, one, two, three damage. This goes all onto the shield, which is fine. And then our back card is the Melter. Um, must, all right, so an engaged player must defend, must attack when the ally of Able. So. That is true. That is true. Actually, what I could do now, here, I could do a Fist, I could do a Science, and I could do a Wild. And let's get rid of this Retaliate. Let's use a Double to play Wiccan. Wiccan is going to thwart the one. Um, thwart one here. And then uh, deal one damage to enemy. We're, we're probably going to wrong double. Wrong double with what? Oh. Did, did I not throw that out? That was a counterintelligence. Oh shoot! Sure, I, I should stop one in my hand. Thank you. All right, so we're we're throwing the one. We reduced it. We're gonna do this damage onto Melter, right? Oh, it's a response. Okay, doesn't really matter. But response is zero. That's cool. Um, okay, attack one. We just wanted to ping off the tough. And. So we have our one Phoenix Force, so we can flip when we're ready. So Storm can do two damage on the Melter, right? We'll do the two damage. Um, okay. I think that's good. I think we're fine with that. So we have one. Two, three, four, five. Okay, we got Rise from the Ashes. We got one way or the other, which is good. Wait, one way or the other has to be from the encounter deck, right? Um, I don't think this is going to be good yet. Because I think we have... <sighs> Immortal Claw Defense Network, which means the one that's left is the boost icon one, right? There's like one that's left. And I don't know if that's good to bring out yet. All right, we're going to take this hit to the face. Yeah. Arms Factory, that's right. Arms Factory is the other one. So we could do that. I think it's still a three for Arms Factory. So we could do the three, remove it. All right, well, we'll get into this in a second. Uh, deal one damage to each hero. Okay, so that would go here, and then a fifth damage. Okay, so that gets rid of our shield. I'm going to block this with an ally. It's going to be done with Storm. And we get her back card. It's a four. Ugh. Okay. Uh, attach to Claw. That's cool. Sonic Converter. After he stuns, after Claw attacks and damages a character, stun that character. Okay. All right. So it's a four. And we're, well, we can throw it with Wiccan. And then we can throw it with Phoenix, right? So we could throw it with, with Wiccan. We could throw it with Phoenix. And move th four threat from a scheme. We could stun and confuse an enemy. Actually, maybe we do that. So we could do telepathic trickery. So, okay. <laughs> right? So, all right. Here's a question for you with telepathic trickery. Remove four threat from a scheme, right? It's a hero action with a thwart. If you have an unleashed trait, stun and confuse an enemy. If I use Phoenix Force to pay for this, it's a force response after the last power counter is removed, flip this. So if I use this to pay for this, does this automatically flip? And then I can do the second sentence, which unleashed force. I would assume so because it says after it's removed, it's a force response, right? So the response of removing it, then I flip this card. And then I would do said thing, right? The order would be pay for card, do things on card. I assume, but I don't know if that's 100% right. I think you flip first, become unleashed and active. Okay. Okay. 
All right, well, let's do one way or the other. And we can search, right? Yeah, search. Yeah, arms factory. Perfect. Oh, shadows is still down here. I agree the response is when the counter leaves. Okay, so this comes with four. We get to draw three cards. They're going to be all amazing. Okay. They're, they're, they're fine. <laughs> so what we can do. So we want to do trickery, right? So I could throw away mind control and I could do a counter. Now this flips over to crazy side. So remove four threat from a scheme. We could do it off of this one. Uh, if you have the unleashed traits, stun and confuse an enemy. Just do it to claw for now, right? So he's gonna be stunned and confused. All right, I also uh, do skill investigator to draw a card. It's banshee. Okay. So now psychic blast looks really good right now, right? Uh, because we do four damage to him and do four damage with Melter and completely knock him out. So we'll get rid of Beat Cop because that's not going to work right now for us. And we'll get rid of Banshee. So we'll get rid of both of them to play Psychic Blast. You can swing for three. The, yes, I can. That is 100% true. So I deal four damage to the villain, which brings 11 down to four is what, a seven? If I, if I can math. Two, four, six, seven. And then does four damage to Melter. Cool. Wiccan can thwart the one off of here. And we do damage. It's two and gets rid of shadows. It's dumb luck. Uh, sorry, that goes there. Um, so, Rise in the Ashes, even if I'm unleashed, I can basically... Ready my identity, right? When you remove this card from the game, ready your identity, restore its permanent hit points value. Remove each. All right, so I could still use Rise, which would be nice. Counterintelligence, I don't have to worry about right now because I'm probably not going to flip down. So I'm going to actually throw away these two cards to hold on to this one. Uh, and I will swing for the three. All right, we're unleashed. We're going to kind of go for it at this point. Um, but I am going to flip down to other side. And then ready up. Um, and then we can hold on. We can do rise, hopefully, next turn. Um, maybe, maybe not. And the idea just being like, in case I die, because I'm not going to heal, that it would, uh, that I, I would get another life, essentially. So, all right, two, get a bad card. Uh, this could be interesting, too. Where I can heal and basically ready myself. That might be worth doing. All right. One, two, three, four, five, six. Well, wow, that's a lot of her cards. Okay. <laughs> All right. One goes on here. He is confused. So nothing happens there. Uh, then we do bad cards, right? So we already have our one. We have our second one. First one is weapons runner, which gains a search. Uh, okay. Apparently we're getting all of the allies now. Or minions. And the villain schemes. So that's cool. So two, three. I feel like that was not a great turn for us, but that's okay. All right. We have some guards to deal with now, which kind of stinks, but that's okay. We could mind control him. The problem is there's not going to be anything to use one way or the other in there. That is the only part that stinks. Telepathic trickery isn't bad right now, but I feel like it's not that important to do right now. I almost like mind control the most right now. All right. So what I'm thinking is we will heal. We're going to get a free heal in basically. Because we're going to do three. Have piercing one unleashed. Nah, that'd be sweet though. 
So we heal. When doing so, we place one counter on Phoenix Force, right? So then we can flip over to other Phoenix side. We can use said counter to play Phoenix Firebird, which allows us to ready up Phoenix, right? We'll just kind of do that to, to get like a free heal. Um, I think I'm going to use four cards. I would like to use the suit. And I would like Rise from the Ashes. Oh, no, but I really want Ashes. But I could just take the Armored Guard. And stun doesn't matter anymore. Or not that, I'm sorry, tough doesn't, but tough and guard doesn't matter anymore. So you could play mind control, or you can keep this to play a more defensive thing. I'm always thinking mind control and actually keep him as a blocker for two rounds. I think that's what I'm going to do. Um, yeah, I think we're going to do that. I think we'll throw away all four of these cards in mind control armor guard. Then. Wiccan can thwart for one off of here. Do two damage. We'll do it to weapons run. Jeez. And Wiccan gets knocked out, unfortunately. And then let's, um, I guess let's not claw out to the next stage. Why not, right? So he's going to be 28. Well, he's going to be 28 in a second. Six. Because Immortal Claw. So this is the encounter deck and discard pile for Immortal Claw. The Immortal Claw. All right. That's fine. Oh, no, that's 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 fine. That, that stays like that. Okay. Let's ready up. One, two, three, four, five. I have to put things on here. So now it's harder to thwart that, which kind of stinks, but that's all right. Double, B-Cup, Banshee, Mission Training, and Telepathic Attack. Interesting. All right, so two goes on to there. Claw's going to attack, but he's stunned. So we get our bad card. Should put acceleration on there. Um, okay, hero, take two damage, call heals too. He can't heal, so whatever. Um, sorry, so this empties, this would be discard, this would be shuffled. And we'll do our, our battle in one second. So I've been a little too aggressive with the Phoenix Force one now, because I would have flipped by now, probably. Maybe it's not bad, I don't know. I just hope I get a, um, a big card coming up. Alright, so... Let's throw away a double and a training thing. And just remember that you aren't thwarted. Yeah, exactly. Um, to do uh, this one. So it deals seven damage to enemy. If you have unleashed trait, this deals two additional damage and gains overkill. So it's nine damage doing off of 28, which brings it down to what? Uh, 19, right? If I can math. So that's down to 19. I am going to swing for three damage. So he's down to 16 night alive. I have Banshee, which I like the idea of B cop we're gonna get rid of. I'm gonna not do anything with Armor Guard because he's gonna be blocking, so I don't have to stun my character. Um it would stun Armor Guard, I guess, but that's fine. And I think we're good there. I think we're gonna ready up. So I'm hoping Banshee. Um can kind of thwart this down, maybe. Two. Interesting. Three, four, five. Uh, not quite what we wanted. Yeah, okay. So that's going to go up to three. Two, three. Call's going to attack. We're going to block this with armor guard. Uh, so attacking for one, two, three, four, five, six. Two buddies got tough. So it's after claw attacks and damages a character you would stun them. We don't have that. That's fine. Our bad card is claw attacks you. This attack deals damage, place one threat in the main scheme. Oh my god, come on. I'm just gonna take the hit. One and two advances. Alright, so one damage. Which means it stuns me. 
And that's that. Okay. Two, three. Ugh. Why is Banshee so expensive? I feel like I need to get him out there though. Uh you're you're he heals too because of the converter? What are you talking about? He doesn't heal too. It just says he attacks and stuns. Right? Oh, but he does place one threat in the main scheme. I didn't do that. Which is up to 10, which clears this out. Which moves this up. Call deals 2 damage because it's one attack. Oh, 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 deals 2. Deals 2. Deals 2. Yes. Yes, you're right. And also that would put one um, one more up there. So discard cards in the encounter deck until a minion is discard. Okay, that was quick. Okay. But you're right. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. All right, let's do four to put in Banshee. We're going to thwart the two off of here. Oh, okay. And oh, I'm going to clear this done. And then I'm going to ready up. I need some attacks. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, but I'd rather clear the stun. I think I'll be fine. Because I, I just think it'll be fine. One, two, three, four, five. There's our big attack. So we're we're probably gonna be good. All right, so three goes onto there. Uh yeah, Banshee does confuse. So we can put I guess it's a minion, right? Yeah, so we can put it on there. That's true. I don't think we're gonna have to do anything with that, but that's alright. So this gets three because it gets one normally, one for there, one for there. Uh he's gonna attack. Armor guard's gonna block this again, hopefully, successfully. One Two, three. This comes into play. We got rid of our obligation, which is really nice. It knocks out our armored guard. Whirlwind is going to deal two damage. Three, six, seven, eight. Oh, I have endurance in. Okay, so two damage plus another one. So we have eight damage done with, with the rest of these. And then bad card. Uh, the Masters of Evil. We're reveal discard cards in the encounter deck until the Masters of Evil and uh, into play engage with the first player. Okay, so this comes in with three. And discard until we get Masters of Evil. Of Evil. There's Tiger Shark. But I think we're going for the win anyway. So this is okay. Yeah, I, I think we're good. I think, I think we're good. So, Banshee is going to thwart for the two. Uh, off of uh, Immortal Claw, right? So this brings him down 10 life. So he's down to six. We get to draw a card with Skilled Investigator. Cerebro, that's fine. Uh, it was also Confuse a minion, but we're, we're just not going to worry about that right this second. Um, and then we just have to do Telekinetic Attack. So we can spend um, one, two, three cards. To do that, it is nine damage on the Claw. Knocks out Claw. And then we can still swing for another three. Um, so that worked out. Luckily, we we didn't get a minion with with guards, so that was good. I feel like that was better. I feel like that was better hand. I, I, yeah. I mean, Phoenix on Unleashed is good. <laughs> um, maybe maybe that's what it is. You just flip to Unleashed when you're ready to go. In the other side, just like a building side almost, because it was nice to like thwart three with her. Um, yeah, not, not pulling shadows was key. <laughs> Um, but yeah, I, I feel like that really, really helped, um, with like building first with the Thwart three and then just, just going at it, you know, um, one way or the other was, was really good with skilled investigator, especially, right. Cause it's three cards. If, if you use it, um, if you then Thwart three, right. That, that eliminates the other one. Like I like that combo a lot. You're right. Once she gets her card draw, it's really, really good. Um, or really helpful. I should say.